Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today I wanted to go over something rather simple. And uh, you would think that um, being a game like this, um, you wouldn't necessarily need this uh, type of guide. However, the truth of the matter is, is that uh, when I watched people play for the first time and um, also when I post my videos on the internet, this is one of the things that I've got requested multiple, multiple times. And it's something very simple. It's um, what do I sell for money? And what do I throw away? Um, now, it might seem self-explanatory what is worth money and what is not. But let me tell you, it's it's really not. Um, when you're running around the uh, the the game and you are you know just doing your thing, you've got your you've got your armor up, you've got your various skills ready. You you go down here and you start shooting stuff, and um, you know you start killing those those monsters that. Uh, are coming close you know what is worth money and what is not so you know if i kill shanky poo over here uh, we have a variety of items that are all going to be on the ground here we have um, a large axe we've got chain mail we've got composite bow we've got a sacred globe we got a balance axe so how do you know what is worth money and what is not well the first thing that we're going to go over is class items um, so class items tend to be worth more than just about anything else. And the reason why class items are worth more is because if they have plus to skills, those plus to skills allow them to be worth a huge amount of money. But it's not just about the plus to skills. It's about where the plus to skill is on the skill tree. So if we look at our skill tree here, uh, we have a variety of skills and each one of these skills requires a different level. So for instance, if I want to get uh, Lightning Mastery, Lightning Mastery requires level 30. Um, but if I want to get uh, Ice Bolt, Ice Bolt only requires level one. So if I find a Sacred Globe, which is a Sorceress class item, um, and that Sorceress class item has plus one to um, Ice Bolt, it's going to be practically worthless because Ice Bolt is a very low level skill and it's very common. However, if it had plus one to Cold Mastery, because Cold Mastery is a level 30 skill, it's going to be worth a whole lot. And each one of these skills, in turn, down the tree, is worth more than the ones above it. So, for instance, um, if you had a plus three to Ice Bolt um, and you had a plus three to Ice Blast, the plus three to Ice Blast would be worth more than the plus three to Ice Bolt. Also, if you find one of these and it has no plus to skills on it whatsoever, that is going to give you basically nothing. So you probably just toss that back on the ground. Now, the cool thing about these class items is that they don't have to be rare, blue, set, or unique to have these class bonuses on them. You can find them with the class bonuses even in white or socketed form uh, with absolutely no other effects. So let's go ahead and identify this item. And uh, we have plus three to Chain Lightning. Not bad. All right, so let's check the tree, and we're going to look where Chain Lightning is. Chain Lightning is here, um, which means we can look at other skills to check for the level. So it is a level uh, 18 skill, um, and it is plus three to Chain Lightning, and plus three is going to mean it's going to have more like you know uh more uh, value be than a plus one so that's nice we're also going to pick up some of these other items here and i'm going to show you what these are valued at as well so uh the armor arrows so first off let's go over things like arrows as you can see arrows are rolling worth 22 gold absolutely dirt cheap um nobody really is going to pick up arrows to sell unless you're just so broke that you need money Armor tends to be worth a huge amount of money um, when you get to a certain point. In fact, um, ancient armor, which is only the highest level normal version of the armors, tends to be worth cap no matter where you are. Um, and this is important because you are dealing with um, a cap of 5,000 gold in Act 1, 10,000 gold in Act 2, 15,000 gold in Act 3, 20,000 gold in Act 4, and 25,000 gold in Act 5. And then when you get to Nightmare Difficulty, they give you a cap of 30,000 gold. And then when you get to Hell Difficulty, they give you a cap of 35,000 gold. So as you can see here, this chainmail, which is rather low-level chainmail, is 4,492. Um, my ringmail are here, which is an angelic, is 3,521. These are low-level 
armors, but they are still worth around 4,000 gold. Now, that's not the most amazing, but when you're a low-level character, 4,000 gold can be a lot. Now, let's take a look at, um, at this sacred globe. So, as you can see, the sacred globe, globe is selling for 18,907. And as we talked about, because it is a mid tier skill chain lightning is a mid tier skill we're only getting a decent amount of money for it not cap and uh, to demonstrate those caps for you i actually do want to go to the different difficulty or uh, acts and i want to show you the the caps so if i am in uh, this difficulty setting you see that the cap is still not there so 18,900 because the cap is 20,000 in uh, in act four but if we go over to Act 3, you walk over to uh, Mr. Ormus over here, um, and you try and sell the item to him, you'll notice that it says 15,000. And this is important because if you are in Act 1, if you are in Act 2, um, if you're in Act 3, and you see that someone has a cap on what you're selling them, hold on to that item for later, okay? Don't sell the item to Charcy for 5,000, Throw that in your stash for right now until you get to the next act and uh, and hang on to it until you can sell it for what it's actually worth. Um, this way you can get more money for it later as opposed to just simply selling it for 5000 now. If I sell this for 5000 now in Act 1, that's that's just very silly because I can get 18900 for it in Act 4. Um, and it's a very small item. It's easy to hold on to. And that's another uh, topic that I want to touch on here is that a lot of these class items are very small, very easy to hold items. And that is the reason why people will hang on to them for such long periods of time. Um, for instance, if I go down here and I start, uh, I start farming, I might very quickly fill up with, uh, with items. You know, I, I might have like uh, my stash full. I might have various things full, and um, and I'm kind of yeah, it's a little worrying. So what do I pick up? Well, a low quality light belt definitely isn't going to be worth a lot of money. Um, this crude volge right here is huge, and even if this crude volge is worth say thirty five thousand gold. I might not want to take a whole bunch of crude vulges back because crude vulges are going to take up a huge amount of space. Now there are some really high level vulges that will be worth some money, but look at the value of this uh, of this vulge. It's 153 gold compared to the value of this t tiny little two spot item, which is 18,907. So it just seems silly to pick up something like this and bring it back to sell when there are so many much more better items to sell. Now, there are also some more interesting things like um, when you are in Act 1 and you're a brand new noob, not a lot of really expensive items are going to be dropping. You're going to be broke, you're not going to have any money whatsoever, and you're going to be wondering what to sell here. Um, now, let me tell you, there's a really easy and really good item that you can pick up um, in Act 1 normal which will sell for a pretty decent amount of money and get you the funds so that you can buy yourself some gear. And it's actually a throwing knife. Um, you're also gonna pick up things like wands, but remember when I said that um, the skill level of the item determines the value? Well, since you're in Act 1 Normal, the items that are gonna drop in Act 1 Normal are not gonna have a very high skill level. So this has Skeleton Mastery on it, which is a level one skill. And I'd like to show you that uh, Skeleton Mastery does, in fact, have a horrible, horrible um, sell value. Because it is such a low-level skill, because it is a level 1 skill, um, you're going to go over here to Akara, and Akara is going to give you basically nothing for it. So here you can see she's giving me a whole 608 gold for this uh, Skeleton Mastery wand. Now, the interesting thing about this, though, is that... Um, it's not exactly a bad sell as a level one character. You know, you're a level one character, you're just starting out, you find a wand that has a plus one of skeleton mastery on it, and 608 gold is enough to get you a Tome of Identify, a Tome of Town Portal, maybe a couple scrolls, a couple potions. It'll definitely get you quite a few potions, uh, maybe some keys if you want them, uh, some stamina potions. A 608 gold at level one is going to get you some pretty good money for, you know, for stuff. So we can go ahead and sell that. But, you know, when you're a higher level character, you're looking for those high value items. Um, and, uh, you know, that wand is just not one of them. So when you pick up those wands and various items that are class items, and I'm going to go over each one of those real quick with you. Um, so there is the Necromancer Wands, 
Those can be worth quite a bit of money. There is the Sorceress Orbs and Staffs. Those can be worth quite a bit of money. Um, there is the Druid Heads. The, the, the Pelts, I think is what they're called. Um, the Necromancer Heads. So this is plus one to Corpse Explosion. We're going to hold on to that. Um, there is the Druid... Or sorry, the Barbarian Helmets. They're like fanged helmets, um, barbed helmets, things like that. They're already they're always Barbarian only. Um, there is Paladin Scepters. Paladin Scepters tend to be worth a rather large amount of money. And um, it's because, again, of the plus the skills. Now, there is a Paladin only class item, which is a shield. And unfortunately, the shields do not have, tend to have plus the skills on them. And because they do not have plus the skills on them, they tend to not be worth it a whole lot. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, what at what point they actually start to be worth money because there are some of them that will be worth a pretty decent amount. Now, you see here we have a, uh, a rare item. Now, rare items can be worth a decent amount of money if they have the right modifiers on them. But for the most part, you're going to find that a rare item is only worth small amount of money um, when you're considering um, what kind of item it is. So just like with the rare wand here, the rare sacred globe, the rare sacred globe can actually be worth nothing as well. If this rare sacred globe did not have plus three to chain lightning on it, it probably would only sell for like two to three thousand. And this axe right here, even though it's rare and it looks like a really sweet axe, when we take this axe back to town, you're going to find out it's probably only going to sell for maybe 2000 probably less. So 933 So a very, very cheap axe. And, uh, and sometimes when you notice, you know, there's a rare item on the ground and you don't necessarily need it and nobody necessarily wants it, you're probably not going to pick it up because those rare items are practically worthless. Especially when you have something like a large axe, which it takes takes up so much space to bring back to town. Um, space is, uh, is a finite thing in Diablo, in the Diablo world. And as you can see, your inventory is not the largest. And once you start filling it up with charms, once you start filling it up with, uh, with random objects of, uh, of indeterminate value, um, you start to realize that that space is very, very important. So here we have three items. We have a jawbone cap, and the jawbone cap has plus two to mace mastery. That is a level one skill. Um, we have a Preserved Head, which has plus one to Amplify Damage. That is a level one skill. So both of these are going to be rather poor in terms of their value. So if we go over to Akara and we uh, take a look at the value of these items, they probably are not going to be much more than a couple hundred gold. So the, uh, the, you know, the Jawbone Cap is only 406, and the Amplify Damage is only 135. Now, I would not pick up these items, or rather, I would not keep them. So it's important to note that um, when you are doing your search for these items that are worth a bunch of money, you pick up these items, these class items, you look and see how much they're worth, um, you know, using your judgment skills to, uh, to check and, and find out their value. And if they're not worth anything, you just toss them back on the ground. Now, for demonstration purposes, I have here a uh, necromancer with Trangle's armor on. He has the entire set. And I want to show you the value of each individual item on the necromancer, um, you know, in retrospect to how useful they are. You know, this is a end game level set, and you would think that an end game level set would be worth a lot of money. But it doesn't have anything to do with whether the item is a set item, a rare item, a unique item, a magic item, a, a socketed item. It does not matter. What matters is, is the effects on the item itself and what the base item is. So, for instance, this trophy right here, this Triangle's Wing Cantor Trophy, is only worth 3,482. You would think that something of this amazingness, with all these great stats on it, would be worth a large amount of money, but it's just not. And that's because Triangle's Wings, or rather Cantor Trophies, which is the base item, don't tend to sell for very much money unless they have plus the skills on them. However, armor tends to almost always sell for large amounts of money, no matter what the skills are or what the effects are on it. So if you find a chaos armor 
in hell difficulty and you take it to the vendor, the vendor will almost always give you 35,000 gold for a white, you know, no stat chaos armor. It could even be a cracked chaos armor with horrible stats. And for some reason or another, in Diablo, it will always be worth 35,000 gold. Now, helmets are another one that can be worth a lot of money, but not always. So you will find some very nice helmets, like uh, bone visages and like the hell versions of crowns, which tend to be worth 35,000. But it seems to uh, kind of taper off down toward the nightmare level. And when you find things like Shacos and um, and the nightmare version of those helmets, they tend not to be worth as much money. So, if, but if you see a bone visage, uh, which is the the hell version of the bone helm, um, those tend to be worth a lot more than others. Now you can also see the uh, Trangul's girth belt here is worth twenty-three thousand, and the gloves are only worth nine thousand five hundred. And that's very silly because the Trangul's gloves are actually very well sought after because they have twenty percent faster cast and they have twenty-five percent poison skill damage, along with pretty nice defense and uh, thirty percent cold defense. You know, resistance. Uh, they're actually pretty sweet. Um, when it comes to money, you really have to keep your eyes out specifically for those items which are actually worth a really, really good amount. And I think the best thing for me to do now is to take you into a cow level and show you uh, kind of like all the items that could possibly drop and then go over those items with you of which ones you would pick up to sell and which ones you wouldn't. Now, of course, you could always pick up everything and sell it back in town, but trust me when I say it's not as amazing um, if you pick up everything because some of those items are worth absolutely nothing and they're just not worth your time. All right, guys and gals, so what I have done is I have cleared an entire cow level. And the purpose of me clearing this entire cow level is to go over these items with you and show you which items are worth money and which items are not. Um, I really want to give you a, um, a kind of an idea based on how I look at things. So that broad axe, I'm going to walk right by that broad axe. I'm not going to pick that up. And the reason why I'm not going to pick that up is because if we check the price on this broad axe, it's probably only going to be about 2000 uh, maybe if that. So as you can see, only 403 so very, very low sell value on the broad axe. Um, then we have some gauntlets here. We've got a bone helm that are also going to be fairly low sell value items. So um, I'm going to go ahead and shove some of this stuff in my stash so that I can pick up more items. And uh, I'm going to show you each one of these items and we're going to go over, you know, just kind of like what is crap and what is worth taking back to town. Um, and I know that you probably don't want to see me run to Akara 18,000 times, but I feel like this is important because we are dealing with, um, you know, what items are worth picking up and taking back to Akara. So if you watch this video, you figure out what items are worth taking back to Akara, you watch me run back and forth to Akara a couple times, then you won't have to run back and forth to Akara a couple times later. So as you can see, the Chris, absolutely worthless. The Gauntlets, absolutely worthless. The Helmet is kind of worth a little bit, but this is a normal difficulty helmet. So what we're looking for instead of normal difficulty helmets is we're looking for nightmare and hell versions of those difficulty helmets. All right, so we're going to uh, to keep an eye out for helmets that have a much higher difficulty rating. Now this item right here, a falcon mask, could be worth a decent amount of money if it has plus the skills. So it has plus two to druid, plus two to tornado, and plus three to shockwave. That's actually amazing. Um, and I guarantee you that's going to be worth 35,000 uh, gold. So we are in nightmare difficulty right now, and that means that our cap is 30,000. But um, we're going to take a look at this helm. It is a 30,000 cap gold item. Now, I'm actually not going to sell this to vendor because this is a, a really nice helm, and I think I might actually want to use this on my druid over on my other character. So uh, there's that. We're going we're gonna to hold on to that. I'm going to drop that in town for right now. Now, uh, let's go back in, and I'm going to show you some other items. The Battle Bow, for instance. I'm not even going to bother to bring this to town. You know why? Because I know it's only worth like 200 gold. Um, Flawless Topaz. If you don't want to keep it to actually use it, these are worth uh, 10,000, or sorry, 7,500 7, gold, which is not bad for a single slot item. Um, crude Scale Mail is only going to be worth about 4,000. Military Pick is going to be like 200. Uh, throwing axes tend to be worth a decent amount at low levels, so if you want to pick this up, <laughs> that's a ferocious, wow. 
If you want to pick these up at low levels, uh, throwing axes, um, throwing knives, uh, javelins, things like that, they tend to sell for a pretty good amount of money when you're like level 1. You notice how it's like 800 gold? 800 gold at level 1 is actually pretty good. So if you find some throwing knives, throwing axes, things like that, go ahead and pick them up. Um, at, at like, you know, level 1 through 10 and sell those because they're going to get you enough money to actually purchase, you know, some some decent stuff. Uh, we also have a tomb wand here. That's going to be worth a pretty good amount of money. Flawless emerald and a breastplate. Uh, breastplate, even though that is a crappy breastplate, it's still a breastplate and will be worth probably around like 10k. This tomb wand, however, has no plus to skills on it, so it's going to be worth nothing. And uh, I'll show I'll show you that uh, the, the proof is in the pudding, as it were. Because when you run over to your NPC and you take a look, you'll see that the tomb wand sells for a whole two thousand, and uh, Eisenhart's case sells for six thousand three hundred. So, not uh, not terrible items to pick up and sell. But um, if you find a tomb wand that actually has some plus to skills on it, it's going to be way better than a crappy plot tomb wand that has nothing. Uh, light gauntlets are not going to be worth anything. Claymore is not going to be worth anything, really. Uh, this is a nightmare version of the spiked shield, and because it's the nightmare version of the spiked shield, it might be worth a little bit, but uh, it's probably not going to be worth much more than like four, maybe five thousand gold. Um, it's it's really due to the fact that it has kind of like a lower defense. So there we go. We've got eleven thousand four hundred and twenty-nine. It's probably because it has sockets. And uh, we've got our 7,500 emeralds. So uh, not bad to pick up the emeralds, especially the, the perfects if you want to sell those. But uh, I probably wouldn't be selling perfects because they are very useful in cube recipes. Uh, we have the dimensional blade here, which is probably not going to be worth very much at all. Um, here is a gothic plate. And amulets can tend to be worth a lot of money. So definitely pick up amulets. It depends on what, what they proc with. So if they have some really good stats, they can be worth a lot of money. This one is not going to be worth a lot of money because it has only a plus to mana. Um, the Gothic plate will probably be worth around 20,000. 20, I'm going to say around 18 to 20,000. That's my guess. Greetings. Well, it's only about 9,000. Right? So, so the stats on it were not good enough to be worth more than uh, more than 10,000. So, so you notice how that my guesses are kind of close to the mark, but not quite. I can, I can kind of tell how much the item is worth, sort of, but not the exact value. And that's kind of what you'll be able to do as you get more and more advanced with the game, is you'll be able to look at an item and almost immediately you'll be able to judge, you know, hey, is that worth picking up? And you'll go, okay, no, that's probably not worth picking up. Um, heraldic shields tend not to be worth very much money for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, they tend to have nice stats on them, like all resistances and stuff like that, but those stats don't really make them worth money, unfortunately. Um, flawed amethysts are not really worth very much, although you can pick them up if you, uh, if you want to. The class items are really what we're looking for. So there's a class item, there's an amulet. We're going to check both of those. Um, now, in the future, you're going to drop these items on the ground. You're not going to actually pick them up. So all resistance is 8. It's not going to be worth a good amount of money. This has no plus to skills on it, so it's not going to be worth a good amount of money. We're just going to drop them right back on the ground. And that's really all there is to it. You, you pick up the item. You check and see if it has any plus to skills on it. Um, you check and see if the, the stats or the, the modifiers on the item make the item worth anything. And if they don't, you just, you just move on. Um... Let's go over here to the Cow King area, because I do remember there was quite a few items that dropped on the Cow King floor. So, Spear, worth nothing. Longbow, work, not worth nothing. Balanced Knife, that would be good for selling at a low level. Um, barb Club, Fascia, Stag Bow, those are all worth nothing. Um, short Battle Bow, that's worth nothing. Um, this Helm and this Flail, even though they are rare, are still going to be pretty much worth nothing. Unless they have like some amazing stats on them, and they and they really don't. Uh, the flail is ethereal. We got a flanged mace. That's a nightmare mace. It's still worth pretty much nothing. The halberd is um, is a normal difficulty halberd, so that's pretty much worth nothing. This uh, superior ceremonial spear, that is the normal... Or, I'm trying to remember if that's the normal or the nightmare difficulty. I think that's the normal. So that's worth nothing. And um, this is the kind of stuff that, that comes with experience. Like, you're not going to know all this stuff 
um, right away. It's stuff that you're going to have to slowly learn over time. Um, this is plus one to Iron Golem, which is a mid-level skill. It's about a level 18 skill. And then we also have an Amulet and a Defender here. Um, the Defender is the Nightmare version of the Buckler, so it does tend to have more defense than a regular Buckler. It'll probably be worth around like five to 6,000 most likely. Yep, about 3,200, so it wasn't, wasn't that far off. The um, throwing knives tend to be worth around 1,000, and like I said, at lower levels, when you find these kind of things, you could pick them up, you could just, just sell them. Um, throwing knives, uh, throwing axes, um, throwing daggers, that kind of thing, just, just pick them up and just drop them in the stash, or in the, in the in Akara. Um, this is plus one to Iron Golem, and as you can see, with just a one to a mid-level skill, it's worth 14,201. So very, very nice. Um, our amulet here, not the greatest. Plus one to energy, which meant it had absolutely no chance of selling for anything great. Um, the stats on the amulets that actually make them worth money tend to be things like plus to skills, um, stuff like that that actually uh, has like a nice effect. Like if I were to go over here and gamble for amulets, you see they're worth 63,000 on the gamble. And then I buy the amulet, and it has plus three shadow disciplines, uh, and that makes it worth 10,218. So not a bad value for an amulet there with plus three to shadow disciplines, and that's only really one good effect. You can find amulets that have multiple good effects, and it will make them worth, you know, 30, 35,000 gold. Um, so picking up amulets isn't a bad idea, especially when you consider the fact that they only take up one spot, right? And, uh, and they can potentially be worth a pretty good amount of money. Um, runes are also something that can be sold for money. Um, I wouldn't recommend selling runes unless, it's your, unless you're desperate or unless it's just a rune that you have a whole lot of. But for instance, see the hell rune here is only 875 because it is a very low level rune. Um, the hell rune is basically like a level one rune because it is a negative requirements rune. So they want you to be able to use it on pretty much any item. However, the pull rune is worth 25,270. Um, I would never sell a pull rune to an NPC, but I just wanted to demonstrate that the, the runes can actually be worth quite a lot. Uh, dole runes in particular, I tend to find in rather large quantities, and I find that they are mostly useless. Um, there's only a couple really good rune recipes that dole runes are used in, and... Um, I just tend to have so many of them laying around, and they're worth 10,000 gold apiece. So a lot of the times when I find a dull rune, um, after I have collected a decent number, I will just start selling them in town. Anyway, I hope you understand a little bit better um, what is worth money and what is not. I hope I've made it um, at least a tiny bit clear. Ooh, there's a uh, Curios. A Curios is a um, nightmare version of the Breastplate. I'm pretty sure that will sell for uh, Camp Gold. Yep, 30,000. So a nice find there. Um, and as you can see, you can use your gold to gamble with. Um, you're also going to need your gold to uh, to repair your equipment. You're going to need your gold to buy potions. Um, you're going to need your gold to buy keys and, uh, and various other things. So it's nice to have a decent amount of gold laying around. And just to show you the value of something like a claymore. Oh, some cows I missed. Oh, hello there. Ooh, the head. Yes, unravel their head. The, the terrible value of the Claymore. Let's go, uh, let's go sell it in NPC just to show you. So Claymore is worth a whole, I believe it's like 253 gold. Oh, 631. It's, it's absolutely dirt awful. And this is a plus one to Blood Golem, which is a little bit lower than uh, Iron Golem, which means it's worth less. You can definitely see that the difference in a skill, just one point in a skill um, up or down the tree, can make a huge difference in the value of an item. Earlier, we just looked at an item that was plus one to Iron Golem, and that was worth 14,000. But this one is plus one to Blood Golem, and it's only worth 4,719. And the reason for that, if uh, if I can show you, is um, where that skill falls on the Necromancer's tree. So let me go hop over to Necromancer, and I'll show you real quick. So this is my Necromancer, and um, as you can see here, we have a huge little tree on our summoning tree. And uh, Blood Golem is right here, and Iron Golem is right here. One, one skill down makes that huge of a difference in the value of the item. So if you were to find an item, for instance, which is level uh, 18, so it skills with level 18 skills, it's going to be worth far less than something with um, 
with level 24 skills. So as you can see, when you hold your mouse over the skills, it tells you what level they are available. And that's how I like to, uh, to quantify it. So level 30 skills tend to be worth a lot of money. So kind of try and memorize what those level 30 skills are. So for instance, on Necromancer, lower resist, Bone Spirit, Poison Nova, Revive, Fire Golem, those are all going to be worth a lot more money than something like Ray Skeleton, uh, Bone Armor, or uh, Amplify Damage. These are the things that, um, that make it worth money, is, is, is by having those high-level skills. Um, generally, as you can see, anything below the uh, 18 mark, so we're talking about Blood Golem, Summon Resist, Iron Golem, and Down, or bone spear and down, and uh, and on the, the the curse tree life tap and down, those tend to be worth a lot more than the ones above them. Um, now, obviously, if you have like something that's like plus three iron maiden, plus three terror, plus three dim vision, even those either all low level skills, the fact that it's plus three, plus three, plus three, will probably still make it worth a decent amount of change. So go check anyway. Um, it's not going to hurt anything just to check and see, you know what something is worth and um as always you know keep an eye on those class items you know so so just to go over one more time just to just to really drill it in necromancer heads necromancer wands sorceress orbs and sorceress staffs barbarian helmets druid pelts paladin scepters and finally, Assassin Claws. As you can see, even Assassin Claws have plus to skills. Um, those are the items that you really want to look out for for a sell value because they tend to be worth a really large amount of money. Uh, this one in particular here, the uh, plus two Phoenix Strike, plus one Dragonflight, plus three Blades of Ice, is worth well over the cap. Um, well, well, well over the cap of, of 35,000. Uh, because Blades of Ice is a level 18 skill. Phoenix Strike is a level 30 skill. And um, the Dragonflight is a level 28 skill. So we are looking at some pretty sweet skillage there on that item, which is always going to be make it worth lots of money. But keep in mind that don't always sell these skill items. Sometimes they're worth keeping to make characters out of. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this episode of uh, What to Sell for Gold and What Not to Sell for Gold. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching these videos. And uh, keep watching.